Hi, young artists. This week, we're going to be making a spring tree for our artwork. So we're going to use cut paper and some paint and glue. So let's get started. So you're going to get a big paper like this, and you're going to start off. Your teacher is going to give you a very long triangular shape. And we're going to put a few dots of glue along that branch of our tree. And we're going to decide where we want it on our picture. And I'm going to put mine over here on the edge. But you can put yours where you want. Then you're going to get a few branches that are a little smaller. And I'm going to put some dots of glue on those and decide where I want them on my tree. I'm going to put that one right there. I'm even going to put one down here, I think, and make my branch look like it kind of bends a little bit. And I'm going to put one back here. And then you're going to get a few more branches that are even smaller. And these little branches, they could go on the big branch. Or they could go on these little ones. You decide. It is your tree. And you can't do it wrong. So I'm going to stick mine there. Ooh, maybe right there would be a fun spot. So we're using our brown papers to build our little tree branch. All right. Once you've built that, then you have a decision to make. You need to decide if you want to put leaves on your tree, which would mean you're going to use green paint. Or you might want to put flowers on your tree. If you're going to do flowers, you have a choice between red, purple, and pink. Those are the three colors of flowers we see a lot at the very beginning of spring. So choose a whether you want leaves or flowers and what color, and let your teacher know when they ask you. I'm going to do purple flowers. So. I'm going to get a little bit of purple, and your teacher is going to give you a cork, and we're going to dip it, and then we're going to use that as our paintbrush this time, and we're going to dot it on there to make our flowers. So the purple flowers, we'll see some of those even around our school. They're called red buds. The pink ones are cherry trees. Those red ones you see will be our dogwoods. And the green would be any of our other trees that might not flower. They might get their leaves first. So decide where you want those flowers to be. You can put just a few or you can put a lot of them. I like putting little groups of them. And there are my flowers on my on my new little spring tree. I hope you have fun painting. Have a good day. Bye.